Let's go back to Rebecca for a second here. Oh! Rebecca, what you doing, girl? How this girl, what kind of crack is she on? Like, we, we did not put you in idol, my girl. All right, welcome back, everybody. So about to continue on with uh, some Resident Evil Zero. In the last episode where we left off, we kind of came out of the observatory, went to kind of some kind of chapel, had a little mini boss fight with a bat, and then we entered this area. When I save, it's called the library, so I guess that's what this uh, location is actually called. I'm going to go with that. Anyways, uh, what we did was uh, a little bit off the camera, we went back, we collected some of our items. So I'll show you guys here, see? We bought everything back here. We bought the magnums. We bought shotgun shells. What else do we got here? Yeah. Uh, right now, we're inventories are pretty... Well, Billy is like lock and loaded. But Rebecca's pretty clean right now. Uh, we, what do you want here? Billy. A partner. Just in case. So right now, what we're going to do here is... Um, we're going to progress. So we end up just bringing some of the things. Because, uh, you know, I was telling myself... Um, that, you know, you never know because we don't want to go all the way back and we don't know if we're going to be able to eventually go all the way back. You know, sometimes they cut off like you're going back for whatever reason. So I bought whatever I could. What I thought I would need just to have here closer by. And uh, let's anyways, let's begin here. Marcus Diary 2. Part 2. This page has been torn out. Trouble is unlikely, but I closed my babies up in a special capsule. It won't be safe if I hold on to it myself. I'll hide it in that place. To hide a leaf, put it in a forest. To open the capsule, the special stripping agent is necessary. No way Spencer's lackeys could figure out how to make it. You got Marcus's diary, okay. Oh. Maybe Spencer's lackeys can't, but we can figure this out. Let's go up here. So this is what we had to go for. You know, it's a bit complicated, but kind of got to go up this way. Oh, what do we got here on the desks here? Oh, laboratory manager's diary. Today, under Director Marcus's orders, I changed the platform entry code. Later, I asked him what the source of the entry code was. He told me it was based on something significant in his children's growth. But the director's a loner. He isn't married, and he sure doesn't have any children. What did he mean? Well, he's talking about these bloody, bloody leeches. This sick bastard. Okay, we got some fire things here. Progress a little. Oh, whoa. Okay, we, we're hitting the wrong buttons there, buddy. That's right. Oh, what are these? These capsule contain human specimens. Each has a look of a great suffering on its face. The self contains a large number of chemicals. The labels are so dirty that you can tell what's inside. A collection of leech samples. Press the button. One of the capsules is glowing. You cannot carry any items. Okay. Okay, we have to probably carry one of those items. Um... Let's just leave this here. And we can leave the grenade. No, we'll keep the grenade launcher because we might find ammunition a little bit ahead. Uh, however, we want to equip this. Let us go. Let's see what's this here. It's glowing. Oh, there's a kind of like, is this the map? Oh, interesting. Oh, because these are things we find. Oh, nice. I did not even know we can do this. So these are the kind of items where we left and it kind of shows us where it is if we ever. Interesting. Took the lab map. Okay, so we're in a lab. 
Um, specimens. Okay, let's go collect this item first, whatever the hell it is. One of the capsules is glowing. Leech capsule. What the hell? We will probably need it for eventually something. Let's examine this. The capsule appears to contain a specimen of a leech. The lid won't budge. Maybe it's sealed with some kind of special material. Maybe it is, or maybe it isn't. We don't know. Let's go. You know, it's, uh, I kind of wonder, like, what Rebecca and uh, Billy are kind of thinking. You know, what kind of shit's going on? You know, they're not expressing themselves. I bet Billy is probably thinking what we all are thinking. Why Rebecca isn't in elementary school? Right? Like, it's locked. Okay, it's locked. Like, that girl looks like she belongs in elementary school. Uh, interesting with Billy's character, though. We kind of... I believe he's innocent. I... I'm so... Oh, look at that. See, we got some healing stuff here, too. What is this here? Oh, okay. okay. Oh, is this a save? Oh, nice. Okay, so we do have another save here. Okay, what are we doing here then? Oh, what is this? It looks too high to jump down. Honestly, it doesn't look that high. I In real life, you could probably jump down. But there's like some kind of cart or something over there. What do we got over here? Does this door unlock? It's locked. You can't open it. Okay. Well, then I don't know what we got to do here. Well, actually, we got one more door we can go through. Right here. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Yeah, I know. Like, what are they talking about? You know, like, what would be the conversation they would have? You know, one's a convict. Okay. We got shotgun shells. Yes, sir. Oh, we got some notes here. Leech growth records. February 3rd, 1978. Administer tea into four leeches. Their will to survive leads them first to the par parasitism, par par parasitism and pred predations. Then they breed and multiply. Such single-minded biology makes them attractive candidates for bioweapons research. Afterwards, no major charge changes observed. February 10th, 1978. Seven days since the administration of the T virus, uh, growth to the double former size, signs of transformation emerging, spawning successfully, they doubled their numbers. In one hour, but their ravenous appetites lead them to cannibalism. Hasten to increase food supply, but lost too. March 7th of 1978. Provided them with live feed, but lost half when the live food bought fought back. However, the leeches are learning from experience and are beginning to exhibit group attack behavior. They're also seizing cannibal, uh, cannibalism. Their evolution is exceeding expectation. February, oh, sorry, April 22nd, 1978. The leeches no longer exhibit individual behavior. Now when not feeding, they, more as, they move as a collective. They consume everything I offer with a remarkable efficiency. April 30th. 1978. An employee has stumbled onto my experiments. Can a human be a food source? How will the leeches respond? This man is a psychopath. June 3rd, 1978. A day worthy of uh, com com commemoration. Today they begin to mimic me. Surely they recognize their father. Wonderful children. No one will take you away. Okay, this man is awesome rack here oh what do we got over here okay can we operate this here it appears to be a device from pumping gas into the room next door the device is empty right now okay oh the hell you want you motherfucker 
Billy, you okay, my brother? Okay, you're fine. Good. That's good, Billy. What do we got here? Looks like some kind of chemical. You'll need a container to carry it. Oh, doesn't Rebecca have that? I swear she has some kind of chemical. It's been replenished with fresh bioorganic fluids. Surrounding equipment is running. Okay, let's go back to Rebecca for a second here. Oh! Rebecca, what you doing, girl? How this girl, what kind of crack is she on? Like, did we, we did not put you in idol, my girl. Did we? Oh, she is in attack. Rebecca, what you doing? I swear to you, girl, you gave me almost a heart attack here. Okay. We were here for a reason. Let's switch here. Um, examine this. This is, what is it? Contain, oh, see? Oh, okay. So see, she does have it. So we probably should have went up with her, but look at this guy's body. Yo, I feel this guy's going to come alive too. Okay. You know what we're going to do? I'm going to end you right here, boy. Right. Billy? No, Billy. We're supposed to look this way. No, Billy. We are not looking the right way. We... Alright. I think we wasted too much. I think he should be dead. If he is alive, that is. Because these guys, they're always tricky bastards, you know. Okay, um, we're going into another room here. Oh, this is where we share... Oh! Come on. There's another guy coming. We're going to wait for him. Bitch asses. Okay. Let us combine this. We're really good. We're doing good. Oh, we got first aid, but Billy cannot carry anything. Okay, Billy, what are we going to do here? What's the play, my boy? What is this door here? This door is decorated with the bust of Marcus. There's a space in the base for some kind of object. Can we go here? Oh, we got a note here. Investigate investigators report. Dr. Marcus, co-founder with President Spencer of the Umbrella Corporation, disappeared 20 years ago. Where the results of his research have been kept under wraps the entire time. The reason became clear here at the training facility run by Dr. Dr. Marcus. Well, not here exactly, but underground. When we ventured below, we understood. There we found the evidence of Dr. Marcus's research into the T-virus prototype called Progenitor. The evidence of years of hideous experimentation that used employee companies as guinea pigs. We cannot know how many were forced to become subject, but based on evidence, no less than 20 individuals were involved. Some of them were taken deliberately to keep the corporation secrets safe. When where the doctor is now, I don't know. But consider the recent rapid growth of Umbrella Corporation. I can't help but think that this research is continuing. Yes, his experiment lives and continues to grow in the dark. Those things, the fruit of his research, they fill this facility. The rest of the notebook pages are missing, of course. Well, whatever the person came in here to do the investigation, it's safe to say he is gone. He, she is gone. Oh, what do we got here? We got like, okay, we got, we got any items here. There's some kind of mysterious thing on the operating table. Oh, what is this mysterious thing on the operating table? Looks like some kind of chemical. You need a container to carry. Okay, we don't have any of these containers. Like, what the hell? This operating table has been overturned. It looks like it happened recently. Well, thank you, Billy. That satisfies her. That makes us happy, you know? 
That means somebody is here. You know, you're trying to scare the shit out of us. That's not what we signed up for. Rebecca probably thinking what the hell's going on there. We're okay, Rebecca. Don't worry. We're trying to figure out what we're supposed to be doing here next. I mean, their, their conversation should be quite interesting. So we know in this door, this door is locked. Then we got, oh, oh what is this? we got a button here. Is that a button? Can we interact? There's a button. Yes, there is. Uh oh, we open. Okay, we need to go somewhere safe, but I don't know what safe is. All right, Rebecca, it's your turn. It's your turn, girl. What do you got with you? You only got a pistol? No worries. We we good. We good. Okay, I'm going to go he out here. And we're gonna pop this mofo. Oh Oh I always do that and they're about to explode just run in the elevator run through a door and uh eventually we can come back down and you know they'll be gone oh they would have already exploded and uh but she got hit like once or twice so i wonder if she's okay um yeah i wonder if she's okay i'm pretty sure she should be she's fine is absolutely a one okay now we go back and we look at what needs to be done from here because it's quite interesting because we got something we got to do here but the question is what okay let's let's just hope he's gone I think burning them would be like the best idea. Oh, what the hell? Oh, look at this. What the hell happened there? It's like a glitch or something. Oh, that's slow motion. Man, be like slow motion with me. Oh, look at this. What do we got here? This is one of the things. Put it in a mixing set. Yes, the green chemical is already in your mixing set. Add the chemical. Yes. The red and green chemical have been added. Mix to form the stripping heat. Oh. What do we got in here? Okay, what do we use this with? Examine. So it says mix a stripping agent used to weaken the grip of certain types of material. Oh, okay, hold on a second. There's a device for entering a combination, but it's missing part can't be used. Okay. So we're missing a part there. Oh, look at this. We got some herbies here. What is going on, my brothers? Okay, we can't uh, we can't go this way. Let's go this way. I think I know exactly what we need to do. Because he picked up that capsule. And the capsule said it needs something to loosen it, right? It's tight or something. Right? I... Billy, are you good? Okay, my brother. Very good. Very good. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it is. And reading sometimes is very important. You know, if we didn't read this stuff, we would have been right now. We would have probably been very stuck in this kind of situation. Sometimes it happens a lot, you know, in games. Sometimes you don't end up reading certain things and you're like, what the hell? Because it says here, right? Examine. This capsule appears to contain a specimen of a leech. The lid won't budge. Maybe it's sealed with some kind of special material. There you go, right? And now she created something which is supposed to loosen. So, I'm assuming we're going to send this down to our reference room for her. You know, deep down, I wonder what she's probably thinking. Like, why in the hell, Billy, are you sending me this? You know, like you, you think I'm some dirty girl? No, we do not. But we believe that you may have the answer to this material. What's inside? 
A leech capsule. Well, thank you, Billy. You're romantic. Most people send flowers or boxes of chocolate, but you send me a leech capsule. That is very good. Okay, let's see here. Now, I think we combine. Oh, look at this. Looky, 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 looky what we got here. A blue sculpture specially shaped in the form of a leech. Hmm. Do we send this back up to Billy? Or... Let me have a look. Or do we send it back up to Billy? Uh, let me see. Oh, look at all those items there. Alright, Billy, where are you? Ah, uh, there you are. Okay. You're in there still. There's a door that's locked there. There's two doors locked here. We got two doors locked in this area as well. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Oh, well, let's send it to Billy. I think because... Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So... We actually weren't supposed to send this up to Billy. Instead, we were supposed to use it. So, this is like the blue and that capsule is blue. So, it's in the notes it said we had to uh, use this. Yeah, so see, it's a blue capsule. So, we are going to use this here. And it should open this door now. And we holla inside. There you go, we do. Let's just be prepared, folks. Look the way, like, she grabs her stance. So, like, a little girl. Even comp to us. Not comp to us. I mean, uh, Capcom made a joke out of it. They gave her, like, a cheerleader outfit. Even they know she's, like, a little girl. Mysterious objects are floating in the water. I assume those are fishes that are probably long dead. What do we got over here? Something shiny over here. Why can I not track? Uh, input rack. Okay, so that's probably something I have to send to Billy. Billy, Billy, Billy. There's something else here. What else is there? There's something written on the back of the photograph to James. To James to commemorate your graduation in 1939. This man is an old person. You got the old photograph. All right. That guy must be Marcus's son or grandson. Well, it looks like we figured out the man, the unknown man's identity. He is Marcus's grandson, or at least we assume he is. Makes sense because he's so. Oh, wait, we can collect that. We have a lot anyways, but I think it just gets added on top. So I'm not too worried. Uh, we had the door here. Yeah, I wonder if this one opens or if it's locked. No, it opens. Yeah, so it looks like. That unknown guy with the long hair who's been controlling the leeches is Marcus's grandson. These guys are going to come alive, I know it. Oh. Oh. We got a headshot. Oh, don't mess with me, my brothers. Oh, look at what we got here. What is this one? What? Oh, the green one. I think that one was the one upstairs with Billy. So I think we have to send Billy a couple of these items. A variety of expensive looking art supply. For some reason, just looking at them sends a chill up your spine. Does it now? This man was... This looks like it was his office, eh? This is where he was working out of. Marcus? Billy's probably like yelling at us. Where the hell are you? We are coming, Billy. As long as we don't get attacked anymore here, we are on our way. 
Come to think about it. That looks like a... We have to eventually find some combination safe, but... I don't know what the combination safe would be. Like, what would the number be? Because I don't think we're ever told. Which is problematic. There you go, Billy. At this point, Billy's gonna be like looking up. Like, what in the world have you just sent me? Like, what is this like? Oh, yeah, at least Billy, she sent you a better gift. Oh, you sent her some dirty looking capsule. She sent you a nice little crystal. Look, Amos says charm. Okay. Let's go. Let us wrap it up here. So we use this here. Use. And let's be prepared this time because the last time we were kind of attacked, so Shoddy out. Oh look at that, there's people here. That's all you got for us, Camp Cub. This poor bugger. These containers look like they are used to store dead bodies. A strange smell emanates from inside. Yes, it's called we are in a morgue, Billy. Like, you of all people should know what a morgue is. Oh! The hell is this shit? How the hell did I miss him? Oh, look at this. What do we got here? So we got this item here. Sterilizing agent. Something we need. I'm sure of. Let's have a look. Um, examine. A small tank container chemical agent that can be used to sterilize room, rooms contaminated by virus. Oh, okay. I think it's in that one room, right? That's all we have in here. What is this here? It's corpse in a dead body. You get the feeling it's just, it was just stuffed in there. So I kind of, maybe my English is not that good. I don't know if he means like it was just stuffed in right now. Or if he's talking about like, it was just, you know, stuffed in. If you know what I mean. But, it's okay. It don't matter to us. Because we know, people were alive. Okay, we, we're good with, uh, we're good with, uh, ammunition here. Um, do you know what? I know exactly what we're going to do here. Rebecca, babe, can you, you know, send me my shotgun ammunitions here. Oh, Rebecca, not the green herb. The, I mean, you literally... Sh Please get the shotgun. No, not first aid, Rebecca. Yes, sir. Okay. We are going to send this to Billy. Yep. There you go. So our boy Billy is stacked with his shotguns. Billy, take the shotguns. We got something inside. Yes. I hate these little, like, little scenes that take so long to kind of get back in. We always make sure we are fully loaded before progressing here. Okay, guys. I think. I wonder if this guy's gonna come back alive. You know, they always come back alive. I'm pretty sure it was it's for this right here. Uh, do, can we use here? Yes. Oh, there you go. Oh, we got another dead body in there. We got like something that looks like a key. Yo, you gonna come back alive? Better not. Yeah, nothing over here. 
I wonder if we can get jumped in here. Oh! Yeah, see, I, I knew a bitch ass was gonna come. That we do. I mean, we don't got no grenade launchers. It would kind of be nice to kind of, you know, get grenade launchers. Take the breeding room key. Breeding room key. When the hell did we run past the breeding room? Let's see here. Examine the key. A key engraved with a vi vi visage of a hideous monster. I mean, I don't know if it's me. That looks like, like a lion. That doesn't look hideous. I don't think lions are hideous. Scary and dangerous. I wouldn't say they're hideous. They're gorgeous looking animals. Let's go here. Maybe whoever designed it didn't make a hideous enough monster. Maybe you just saw a lion. Okay, we're gonna design it. Everyone thought it was some kind of monster here. I think this is this is the room here. What the? How do we use this? Yeah, we'll toss it away, but that makes no sense. Usually you have to click on it to use. I ain't complaining. I ain't complaining. Okay, we are not. This is the breeding room, so there's gonna be something in here. What is this here? A number of broken cages lie stacked up. They all bear trace of having been smashed open from the inside. Oh, we know something's gonna be here. Oh! Nah, uh you ain't coming for me. We missed, we missed a lot of shotgun bullets too, to be fair. Okay, BOW report. Research to date has shown that when the progenitor virus is administered to living organism, violent cellular changes cause a breakdown in the system. Furthermore, no satisfactory method has been found to control the organism for use as weapons. Clearly, greater coordination at the cellular level is essential to enable further growth. To conduct a number of experiments in an effort to find breakthroughs, this is my report. Insecta. Perhaps because these ancient animals have been genetically stable for millennium, when administered with progenitor viruses, they exhibit only explosive high energy growth and increase increased aggressiveness. It is extremely difficult to envision using them as BOW. Bio something weapon, right? I think so. Impibia. Ampobia. Injecting a frog with a virus resulted in an increase in leaping power and abnormal tongue growth. However, no change in mental ability was observed. Furthermore, an abnormal appetite resulted in test subject randomly attacking all moving objects. Usefulness for BOW is limited. Mammalia. Progenitor virus was merged with a monkey's cellular DNA, resulting in increased fertility. The resulting young exhibited, exhibited improved aggressiveness and some increased mental cap capacity. As a result, as a side effect, visual power was lost, but this was offset by an improvement in hearing ability. However, they were unsatisfactory as weapons, and it does seem that no progress can be made without making humans the base organism. Ah, what bastards, eh? So they used it first on animals. No wonder we've been, like, encountering all those animals. You know, that giant centipede, the uh, scorpion, you know, these... These bastards right here. Oh, a dial. Okay, this is the dial we need. And, uh, yeah, we've been having a lot of fun, it looks like. Hmm. We aren't forgetting anything, are we? Okay, so we might have to send this down to Rebecca. 
but what is the code i think i have to go and quickly read these notes again maybe the code was in one of the notes or maybe it was in the room but let's just go quickly back in here uh because um it's gonna be interesting where is the files here i think it's gonna be a file three okay avatar manager's diary it might be in here Leech growth records. Four leeches. Nope. Oh, we already saw this. Investigator's report. Okay, maybe the investigator's report will give us something here. Oh, we found. Oh, nice. We found all the ones in here. Marcus's diary, too, maybe. Nope. Okay, so we missed some, missed some notes here, eh? Two of them. Okay, we got most of them here. Okay, so we'll, we'll put this here, but uh, I feel like... Hmm. Where are we going to find this code? Dial is coming down, Rebecca. Rebecca sends us like a nice sculpture. We're sending her some leech thing and now we're just sending her a dial. Probably like, Billy, what the hell? Why don't you ever give me something good? I mean, she even sent a shotgun ammunition. Okay, what are we going to do here? Okay, first off, we're going to save. All right, so I think we've found out what we kind of have to do. First, let's put this in here. Oh, wait. Use. The device is working again. Enter the code combination. No, because... We still have to find that. Hold on a second here first. I, I was having a tro trouble time finding it, but I got a little bit of a hint uh, from a friend of mine who played the game because I was stuck on this, sadly. Let's pick up the first aid spray here. Always good to keep one of these with us. And then let's go here. So... What we're going to do here is we're going to first get our way here. So at least what I was told was the code should be in the leech growth record. Okay. Administrative into four leeches. Their will to survive leads them first to, okay, leading the, then they breed and multiply. Okay. Rapid growth. Double former size, signs of turn from agent, double their numbers. They double their numbers in one hour, but their leads them to cannibalism has sent to increase the food and supply, but lost too. Okay. What I'm going to assume is the first number is going to be four. Right. Then we go to the next page here. It says they double their number. So that's eight. Then there's a minus. They lost two. So that's six. And then they lost another half. That's three. So four, eight, six, three is what I'm assuming. Four, eight, six, three. I don't know what way though. Let's just go this way first. Four. Oh, okay, hold on a second here. Okay, let's try this. 
for oh no we we did it wrong okay hold on a second okay so we're gonna go this way four right Oh, is it four, eight? Eight. Six. All right, we take that. Let's go in here then. So it looked like it didn't really matter. Actually, no, we had to go left. Yeah, my friend told me uh, it's the answers in there. Well, this is more like it. We can get out of this place. Good. Wait there. I'm coming. Roger. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Out. Girl, you too much in a hurry, you know? Fuck you going. Oh, what the hell? Okay, so. Well, that's the way we came out. Okay. And then. Looks like we might have to go up here. So, before Billy comes. Let's just explore. There was a handle here we have. What does this do here? Interact. There's a lever here. Pull it. We will pull it. We will see what will happen. It gave me a little bit of a mini heart attack. That was a loud ass noise. So we're gonna climb up. Yes, climb up the ladder, Rebecca. We will reunite with our boy Billy. Billy, Billy, Billy. Let's go here. Well, of course, we can pick this up. And where's our boy Billy here? There you are, Billy. Let's go. Alrighty. Billy the Mesta. Let's go. Um, we'll see what we can do here. Before we go though with Billy, we have to do something here. Shit. But you know what? Let's go into this room first. This is where Rebecca is, right? That's where we're left, right, Rebecca? Oh, yeah. Hey, yo, Rebecca. Hello. Been a long time. We are going to leave this here. Right. That seems fair enough. And then we're going to grab our grappling little hook there. Let's hope nothing happens here. Yeah, I think we dropped it right in here. Yes, sir. So. We need this. What else are we going to do here? Um. So we're going to use the cable car. It looks like we're going to be leaving this area. So I think we're jumping into like the final area of the game after this. Okay, you just chill there, girl. I will go down. I got a shoddy too, so if anyone's waiting for me down there, they're gonna get blasted. And their face. Where was this place? Right here, right? Yep. Use it, Billy. Like this little animation, you know, they're making their way up. And Resident Evil, you know, I gotta say, in this time, it was kind of, you know, in a whole different galaxy. Oh, got some more shotgun rounds here. Take it. Door is unlocked.
Let's regroup. Roger. Roger. Okay. She's here. What do we got with her? So we're carrying all this items. We got the magnum. We got the first aid. We got that. We got the bullets here. We're gonna combine. We seem to have everything. Let's uh. Come here, Billy. I'm gonna give you the first aid. Yeah, you carry the first aid with you, okay? And uh, what do we got over here? Got something here. This machine relegates power input and output. You can use this to get the cable cart moving. And what is this item here? This might be something. Well, that's pretty obvious and necessary to get the cable cart moving. Okay, we, we, we will use this thing. This machine really gets power output. It's missing the output rig. What the hell is the output rig? Billy, did you forget to grab something, Billy? Now we got Rebecca with us, so we good. Where is this output rig, though? So I took about like 15 minutes and we found out, I'm pretty sure this is the bugger. It was actually right here. The whole time I thought I left it in like one of the other rooms. Maybe I didn't look at it carefully, but no, it was actually right in front of us by the cable cart itself. Oh man, there goes 15 minutes of my life. Bullshit. We go back in here and we can use this here. Yeah, that didn't sound creepy at all and that didn't bring any attention. Sure, we got a lot of people looking out for us. There's a lot of weird sound. Okay, Rebecca, you're going to pick up this big boy here. Okay, you're going to take the grenade launcher. So actually, guys, what we're going to do here is uh, before we take the cable car and get out of here, I'm going to call it quits for this episode here. Thank you guys for your support. I'll see you guys in the next one.